Hey guys, Jeff aka GCurse here. Welcome to another GCurse Reacts DSP edition. I actually have this all recorded, but then the more I watched the final product, the more I was unhappy with it. So I decided, because to me it felt like I was kind of rambling by the very end. So I'm going to re record this and try to keep this as, uh, as streamlined as possible. What I am going to be doing a quick uh, reaction to it is uh, the ma some of the major mistakes that uh, Stuttering Craig made. Now this is not going to have this is not going to have a video that I'm reacting to. This is basically my my analysis, I guess you could say, of uh, Stuttering Craig's appearance on Phil Burnell's podcast. I'm going to mainly talk about the the real major mistake that uh, Craig made when he when he oh why did it go why did it go that route hold on oh that's weird it's, hold on let me hold on one second guys oh the sound that one hold on there it goes I'm like why did it go there huh? okay anyway. The major mistake that Sterling and Craig made was that he said that he was sorry. Now, if it was legitimate, you know, a sincere apology or not, only Craig knows. You know, we, we can only uh, really assume. However, legitimate or not, by apologizing to Phil Burnell, it gave Phil Burnell, or DSP Gaming, whatever you prefer to call him, uh, it gave him what he wanted, which is basically validation and something he can lord over that person i find it very hypocritical that phil burnell demands an apology from stuttering craig however when phil burnell literally lied to people now now I can't really say I'm that shocked that Phil Burnell lied when it came to down from rafters or, or WWE champions, basically. I already knew he, he was down from rafters. He can fucking claim to the goddamn... He can, he can scream till he's blue in the face that he was not down from the rafters. I knew he was. I know he still is. I don't believe this bullshit that he sold the account. You think that he is going to create an account, spend thousands of dollars, tens of thousands, 40,000 plus dollars. You think he's going to spend that much money? Now, I know it wasn't $40,000 at the time. Uh, whatever whatever the amount was, do you think he's going to put that, you know, thousands of dollars into it and then sell it for like, what, $1,000? No, no, he's not going to. Do not believe him when he says he sold it. He did not. He did not sell it. That is a fucking lie, ladies and gentlemen. How can you honestly trust somebody who literally goes, well, I lied for the last seven years, but you can trust me now. No, no. I don't trust him. Neither should you. The guy is a liar. He's a habitual liar. He lied to people. He did, he did not authentically say, like, heartfeltly say that he was sorry. I can't even call if he did or not. If he did say he was sorry, like before, it isn't so much that he was sorry because, you know, he wants to try to make admins and move on, you know, or try to make amends and learn from his mistake. No, he simply says he's sorry as a way to move on. He wants the fire to die down. He's, I'm sorry, can we move on now? Can we move on now? Okay, good. You know, no, he... He does not, he's not sorry because he's genuinely sorry. He's sorry because he was caught and he just wants to fucking move on. It's, it's, the, it's a childhood mentality. Like when a child, child gets in trouble for doing something wrong and the mom punishes him. And he's like, I'm sorry. He's not sorry. He's not sorry because he, he doesn't want to be in trouble from his mom. This is kind of what it is with Bill. But going back to the whole subject at hand. Stuttering Craig made a mistake that he said he was sorry. 
he had no, Craig had no reason to say he was sorry. Yeah, the answer could, the, the, you know, people could say, well, he's trying to be professional. And I understand that. I understand that. But why should stuttering Craig say he's sorry when Phil openly admitted that he lied about everything on that side scroll podcast? He lied about WWE champions to to you know Stuttering Craig and his and his co-host. He lied to the to his viewers. He's not, but he's not legitimately sorry. He's not. He is not legitimately sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it's egotistical. It's his. It's his narcissism showing that he believes that he can lie to people. That he can lie to people and not suffer any sort of uh, backlash, but he expects people to apologize to him for whatever it is he conceives that they did, that how they wronged him. You made a hate-filled podcast about me. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Well, Phil, you lied to us about WWE championship. Well, I gave you an answer. I gave you an answer. It was a lie, but I gave you an answer. That's the mentality of what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. That is the mentality of what we are, that, you know, we have been dealing with for 16 years. Bill Burnell, in his mind, does no wrong. Okay. Like I said, so basically, just to close that all out, Phil Burnell expects apologies, but he is, he does not give legitimate apologies uh, that part i'm done with that part now the other thing that i noticed that stuttering craig did that i feel is like a big fucking mistake he said he wants to f see phil be successful now on a level i want to see phil burnell be successful i do however i do not want him to be successful online he cannot his reputation is too damaged to be successful online. I would love to see him go out into the work field. He won't do that. That actually requires work, ladies and gentlemen. But he has this degree. He has a business degree, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't take advantage of that. I would love to see him go and get an actual job. I want to see him be able to be uh, support his support the 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 wife in Jasper Kitty. I want to see him do that. He cannot do this by YouTube and being an internet personality. He cannot. He it is incompatible with him. That's why he needs to fucking beg. And before Phil, you know, one of these days, I'm not saying it's going to be today, tomorrow, even next year. One of these days he will see this video. Even though he lies and says he never watches the tractor's content, we, we've known that he does. He does. He's going to try and claim that what I said is lies. And here's what I'm going to say. Phil Burnell, the detractors did not ruin Phil Burnell. Phil Burnell ruined Phil Burnell. I like to, uh, to use a wrestling, use a, a wrestling term, or a, a, a statement that was said in professional wrestling in 1997, I think it was, 97, 98. I can't recall what the year was. Bill Burnell, I did not screw Phil Burnell. Bill Burnell screwed Bill Burnell. Bill Burnell's actions is what ultimately led him to getting deplatformed on Twitch. It was ultimately Phil Burnell who got, who, uh, got himself ultimately deplatformed on Blip TV. It was Phil Burnell who ultimately got Phil Burnell to lose his AdSense. I'm not sure if he ever got it back because I know he can get his uh, videos monetized, so I'm not sure if he's part of AdSense or some other program. Oh, yes, I'm going to say it. Phil Burnell got himself his AdSense blocked. It wasn't the detractors that made him sick. Hey, guys, if you go and... Click on the ads and also then followed by saying interact with the ads or whatever, however he put it. It's Phil Burnell that got himself shit canned from AdSense. 
not the detractors, not Stutter and Craig, nobody. Everything that has been bad to, that has happened to Phil, with the exception of like the swatting, I, I do not endorse any sort of hacking or swatting. I, Phil Burnell is not worth going to prison for, ladies and gentlemen. He just is not. But everything that the lost sponsorships, the law, you know, Twitch taking away his monetization, just a couple examples. Those are not the detractor's fault. Those are Phil's, Phil Burnell's own fault. It wasn't the detractors that made Phil act like a Nazi on Blip TV. It wasn't the, uh, the detractors that made Phil lash out against people on Twitch. This is all, this is all Phil Burnell's doing. But yeah, so going back to what I said regarding this, Stuttering Craig, he made the, the, you know, the only, he only really made two mistakes. The first one was the apology, giving the apology when he, he did not need to. The second uh, mistake he made was that he thinks that Phil Burnell can be successful online. Even if he does make some money online, he is not going to be seen as a positive influence. He, he cannot. He, he cannot. Positivity in Phil Burnell is are like oil and water. He likes to use the word positivity, but when was the last time you've actually seen him be positive to anybody? He's positive if he gets money, or he's positive uh, if he gets himself something and he can show it off to people. But when was the last time you actually seen sincere? I'm not talking about some sort of placating uh, positivity, but when was the last time you've seen him actually be, be sincere? to somebody playing Street Fighter, like say a Kami player. I recently saw a video of Phil playing against uh, Noah the Prodigy. Phil was sucking up to that guy. Not because the guy, of the guy's talent. Phil was seething at the thought, that, at all those losses. He was, and the reason that he did not lash out against Noah is because like always he thinks that he can try to manipulate it. Well if I'm nice to Noah you I'll uh, you know if I'm nice to Noah in the future somehow we could possibly collab. Basically he is chasing after Noah the the prodigy's clout. And if Noah the prodigy ever watches this if Phil comes to you look the other way and run. Okay, so yeah, this actually we got a little bit shorter, you know. Awesome. Okay, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bounce. Uh, let's switch back over to this. As always, if you like what you watched, which I hope that you did, feel free to click that subscribe button, click the bell, and like. And I will see you next time. So this was my reaction or my analysis or reaction, whatever you want to call, to the. Uh, some a couple mistakes that stuttering Craig made when he went on to the podcast. Until then, next time. Next time, my name is Jeff, aka G Curse. Wishing you all a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.